If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And it beats the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? Tim here. Welcome back to a brand new player review. It is mid-season player time. The choices, of course, were Gomez... Who else? I can't remember. It's not Dumbia, is it? It's, uh, is it Martins? Obafemi Martins, Gomez, and some other guy that I cannot remember and I won't review because I will probably end up doing Obafemi Martins as and when I get to him. I don't know how far I'm, I'm away on another account from getting him, but we'll have to wait and see what happens there. This guy is, I mean, decent for links, I guess, in a way, kind of. I mean, he links to Pepe's uh, What If card, which is actually a very good card if you're looking for a very underrated, cheap centre-back. But more than that, of course, soft link to Wayne Rooney, which a lot of people struggle to get into a team. And he will link to a lot of Premier League players with that English uh, nationality as well. So you do have some options. Is he on loan from Man United or... I don't know. Either way, four star, four star, medium, medium work rate, short and lean because he is five foot six. That is going to be a big talking point and probably the biggest complaint that I have. Not his height necessarily, it's just the way that he carries himself in game. So 91 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, big differential there. Hate it when there's that much of a gap. It's just not a thing. I'm sorry, but you cannot tell me that someone in real life can sprint unbelievably quick in the top 90% of the world, apparently, and then all of a sudden drop down to the 80%. Like, how can you not keep that going? Anyway, 85 positioning, 84 finishing, 82 shot power, 88 long shots. I must admit, and full confessional, I didn't take any long shots with him. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that now, and I'm going to look at the review, look at the clips, and I'm going to be, like, taking long shots left, right, and center. I do take a free kick, because uh, he has 88 free kicks, and they're, they're quite spicy, actually. Uh, you'll see that in the review. Crossing's not terrible at 82. Bear in mind, this is an 86-rated card. It's not going to be up there with your you know, 90-plus foot birthday cards. 89 vision, 87 short and long passing, and curve, actually, which is quite nice. 95 agility, 96 balance. That's the selling point. That's the reason why you choose him. The agility, the balance, the pace, and, of course, the four-star, four-star, very nice. 88 dribbling, 87 ball control, decent reactions and composure as well. Stamina could definitely be higher at only 84, and strength is actually quite good considering. I say good, this is going to sound awful because he's only got 70 strength, but it's good considering he's five foot six and therefore shouldn't have any strength whatsoever. You know, like someone like Insigne, five foot six, five foot seven, has what, 30, 40 strength? Same with um, Mertens. They have awful strength. But Gomez has 70. It's a building block. You can give him a plus 10. You've got 80 strength. The problem I have with him, and to be honest, it's the only problem I have with him, you only have to look at him wrong and he'll fall over. I don't know why, because he has 96 balance and that strength isn't terrible. But if honestly, if Van Dijk looks at him the wrong way, he will fall over. He has absolutely no upper body strength whatsoever. The, I suppose, saving grace, if you will, is that he is very good on the ball. He doesn't feel as agile as I thought he would, but he's still very good on the ball. And therefore, you can, I guess, dribble your way out of, out of danger. You have no chance of winning a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder battle with anyone. I honestly don't think he could beat Insigne in a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder battle. He was awful in terms of strength and, and that sort of way. But that's not the selling point. That's not what you're looking for. And that's not something you'd consider him to be good at anyway. Even at 70 strength and giving him a hawk and boosting it up, you wouldn't think, oh, now he'll be strong. I can just, you know, batter into everyone and it'll be fine. I'll, I'll make it through. He's not that type of player. He's very intricate. He's a, a great dribbler. He feels quite quick when he first gets up ahead of steam and then starts to slow right down. He did get caught quite a few times when he was through on goal. His acceleration took him through and then all of a sudden just died dragging backwards. Big problem in, with this card, actually, that. But not that it happens that often. You know, it's not something that I'm going to sit here and preach about because I don't really feel like that often I go clear through on goal unless my opponent is playing a very dangerous game. Uh, his crossing is quite decent, gets an opportunity to put the ball in here right from that sideline. It was in a great position. There's just no one attacking that six-yard box. So that's our fault more than it is his. It's a great ball into the box. Just needs someone to attack the near post and you've got yourself a goal or at least a, a very clear shot on target. Uh, once you lose possession, give it up. 
don't even try and run and chase it down like you would normally with a with anyone else because he's just not going to be able to get it back. That's not even in the corner and he still scores. His free kicks are nice. I was a big fan of that. He only had one, which was a bit of a shame because I feel like I could have scored more. Just a side note as well, right? I look at that for a ball as well. And it's a 60-something rated silver on the end of it. But he still did well to hit the target. Uh, maybe ha put him in a road to glory coming up very soon. But anyway, uh, something just of a side note. Co-op, right? I play a lot of co-op rivals. Don't like playing rivals by myself. Not that it's difficult. I just I get bored because the way people play in this game bore me. It's, it's just the gameplay, right? People will run forward, turn around, go all the way back, come forward again. It's kind of, it's not realistic because they sort of shimmy side to side waiting for you to make a move and then they go the other way. But the um, the point I'm trying to make here is I'm trying to justify why I'm playing co-op. But anyway, um, in co-op, you have no choice but to just accept whatever the game gives you. So for example, if we win a free kick on the edge of the area, I want to take that free kick all the time. Like I'm, I'm not very good at many things in this game, but free kicks I'm good at, right? person I play co-op with is a self-confessed not very good at free kicks and would much prefer to do penalties. I don't like taking penalties. I don't miss many, but I still don't like taking them. He takes them and he scores nearly every single one. I would like it so that I could choose to take free kicks or corners uh, or penalties or, or throw-ins or whatever. It should be you can switch between and you can't and it's really irritating. Just a little side note while we're on the subject. Do I like Gomez as a player? Actually, yeah, I think he's quite fun. The one thing I will say as we go into the review screen here, yes, he's got a high overall rating. Reason? Because we're reviewing him in that objective mode. I do not think this is going to be a card that you want to put into your weekend league team or a player that you want to take into rivals. With that being said, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it or you can't do it. What I'm saying is you would probably have a lot more fun, joy and success if you take him into objectives rather than comp in competitive modes. Reason for that is because, yes, it's a free card, and I don't know where you are in your ultimate team journey. For all I know, you've only played, I don't know, what, 30, 40 hours since launch. So maybe this is actually a card that fits your team and is better than your current sentiment to a cam. However, the majority of people playing the game and indeed watching these videos will already have players better than him. So in terms of a, a very good objective card, maybe for managerial masterpiece, maybe for a one nation kind of thing, he's going to be very, very good. And I would definitely recommend him playing in that cam role. If you play a 4 one 2 and 2 for example, or 4-3... Um, 4-3, 4-2-3-1? Yeah, that's the formation. 4-2-3-1. I would definitely recommend him in that cam position for sure. You will need to sub him off because his stamina is not good enough. But in terms of weekend league, I think it falls a little bit short, which is fine because I didn't really expect it to get anywhere near there anyway. Very enjoyable card in particular if you are a fan of him. Um, just, yeah, I, I think good option and not one that you're going to come up against very often because I would imagine most people would take Martins. Let me know what you think of the card in the comments. If you have enjoyed this play review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye.